there's a lot to do to get this app up and running so this section might go a little bit faster than the previous one uh, but I do just want to show you real quick a preview of what you know we're, we're gonna be sort of building here um, this is the second screen of two screens in the app that uh, you'll build um, it'll look something like this where you have like a search bar you can search any Pokemon you want by number or by name and it's gonna return a picture of that Pokemon uh, you know the, the height and weight of it and then just a couple of abilities that are attached to it and we're gonna be doing all this by reaching out to the internet and grabbing a Pokemon uh, API for data uh, now you see that background right there with like you know the, it's the, it's actually the Pokemon Go background uh, when you're loading. That's just a background that doesn't have anything to do with the app. I just added that in for a little bit of extra effect, and I'll show you how to do all of that stuff too. All right, so um, I'm going to show you my GitHub right now for uh, this app called Poke Search, which we're going to be building right now. I already built it previously, and I'm basically going to be re building it for you guys uh, in real time here uh, on these videos. Now, uh, the one thing you're going to want to do, and I'll include this in the download probably right after this video, but um, inside of, oh, not source, uh, assets, I have an image uh, for, I think it's, it's loading, or it's the landing image, I believe, and I'm going to open this up right now. Yes, so I built this image um, using Adobe Photoshop, and this will be like our our opening landing page um, just to put something on screen so it looks a little bit nice I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this image uh, as landing and I'm just gonna save it to my Google Chrome right here real quick and I'll drag it into um, the uh, pokey search project folder so what you're gonna want to do is download this image from Udemy or you could even go to my github and get the image there it doesn't matter but you're gonna want to download it as landing.jpg and you're just going to want to drag that into uh, the, the proper folder inside your Pokey Search folder on your computer. So go to Pokey Search, Assets, Icons, and then right now there's an app and loading icon. Those are actually the icons that control what you see when you first like load up the app on Expo. And we're just going to want to drag this landing image inside the Icons folder there so we can use this um, you know, for, for our landing page. Okay, so... Once you have that done, let's go back to here real quick, and let's just make sure I have my simulator up. All right, so we're going to start editing this view here, and, and uh, there's a number of things we're going to do in this app. We're going to have actually other files. We're going to make new files, new React uh, JS files. Um, some of the applications I've worked on in the past, I've had like you know a hundred JavaScript files or something in all sorts of different folders in my projects. Whether I'm doing web development React or I'm doing React Native. Uh, so you're gonna have to get used to developing new components inside of other files, not just like a single file. Um, and we're gonna start doing that a little bit more in this app. Um, so for this video, actually, we'll, we'll wrap up real quick. I just want you, to, want you to make sure you get that image in the right uh, place. If I open up my assets icons right now, I can even see that this landing image is there. And we're gonna include that in our app.js right in the next video here.